Hello, it's been a while since I made a video, but uh, I've got excuses. Uh, I lost my hard drive. Um, my hard, Well, I didn't lose it. It's on my desk. I know exactly where it is. It just doesn't do that thing where it lets you see what's on the hard drive and access it. And that had all my thumbnails and stuff on it, and it was a bit bit of a pain in the arse. Uh, so I kind of went, well, you know what, that's a pain in the arse. And couldn't be bothered. Couldn't be bothered. The other thing is, of course, we've got lockdown because of coronavirus here in Melbourne, like in a lot of places in the world. And that's been a bit fun. I have been working on this. This is my work in progress. That's why it's still got the tail on. And this bit over here, because that's attached to a crochet hook. Um, this is a, a circle shrug, a pinwheel circle shrug out of Magic Ball. And the Magic Ball looks like this. This is all my leftovers uh, from weaving and crochet projects that I tie together and then make things out of. And this is what I'm making this one into, a circle shrug. It's very exciting, but what's more exciting, I just pointed then above the camera so you couldn't even see it, is that I have the September Crate Crochet Box and that's what we're here for, isn't it? Well, it's what you're here for because that's what the title of the video was. It's a slightly bigger box this month. It did just arrive today on the 5th of October because, as I said, Melbourne lockdown post mail has been sluggish, um, which is not the fault of Australia Post. They've been under um, social distancing stuff and reduced operational capacities. That sounded good. I should get a job in management. Anyway, shall we see what's in the box, which is slightly larger than a normal box? Did I mention that? I can't remember. But we're going to open it now. Somebody in the Facebook group said it's the finest yarn they've ever used. So if they get the same box, unless they're in the beginner's box, I don't know, I didn't check. Um, this is going to be some skinny yarn, um, which might not work very well with my not skinny fingers. Uh, but we'll work on the loom, which is where a lot of my yarn ends up. So I'm going to shut up and open the box now. You ready? Here we go. Oh, no, no. Professional. Professionalism at all times. So here's the tissue paper. I don't know why I said it like that. But I'm going to stick with it. So what have we got? It does look like fine yarn. Oh, it's a nice project. So we have a in shot uh, bag for holding small works in progress and it has a lovely feel of bygone eras, which it does. Look, it looks lovely and sort of Victorian-y. That's a word. I didn't make that word up. And what yarn have we got to go with it? We have got, oh, fiddlesticks, cedar, 60% bamboo and 40% cotton. And it is quite fine. Do you see how fine that is? You can, because I've, I've got it in shot this time. It's beautifully soft. I think I've used this before in another Crate Crochet project. Hold it in front of the camera. Um, I'd like to say that I'm out of practice and I'm usually better than this, but no. Nah. So I've got four of those. There's the lollies and the tea, which is Earl Grey. Which I shall give to my mother. And that is what is in the September box. So that's quite exciting. I'll show you again. So am I going to make this project? I don't know. I don't know. It is a very fine um, yarn. And this over here I can show you right now. This is kind of the thickness that I like to work with. Oh, it's all going to fall down. I have my tripod stuck in my yarn box. <laughs> One of my yarn boxes to hold it up, do you see? Um, and that's probably all going to fall down now. So we'll wait and see if that happens. But I wonder actually how this bag would translate into a larger yarn. Because it's a really nice little pattern. Like I love the, the shell. Is that even in focus? I'm going to assume it is. I like the, the shell detailing. Oh, that's a better shot of the shell detailing. Um, I love that sort of pattern. I'm just not that great with this very thin yarn. But I, I have so much nice thick yarn that it might be worth, for funsies, because I can always use a little bag, it might be worth, for funsies, uh, doing that with a thicker yarn, of which I have much very much. I'm burning through it on the loom at the moment, but not nearly as burny through it as I need to be to sort of get it under control. Anyway, that's that's a me problem. That's not a you problem. That is a me problem for me. And I'm working on that. I'm going to go and 
uh, edit this video, upload it, and then sit back down at the loom to start to churn through again. Anyway, well, I, you ever open your mouth, start talking, and not quite know how you ended up where you ended up? That's my life. Anyway, I'll show you that again. That is the Fiddlesticks Cedar, 60% bamboo, 40% cotton. Mine's got stuff on it, but that is entirely, I bet, from this, <laughs> because this has got this has got stuff on it. This is, you know, 90% yarn, 10% dog hair. I have a border collie. Um, so yes, yeah, September 2020, Great Crochet Box. Thanks for listening to me blather on this whole entire time. Do like and subscribe if this is the sort of thing that you're into. Um, and I will see you next time. And I've got, um, you know, other other ideas for videos I could make. I'm, I'm, you know, I'm really considering doing a time lapse of a weave. So if, you, if you'd be interested in that kind of thing, um, do let me know because I'm happy to do it. I'm not going to show you the whole thing. It takes hours. But um, a time lapse might be fun because I do like to time lapse things. I'm going to shut up. You have a lovely rest of your day, and it was nice to see you again, and I will see you at the very least next month for the next box. You take care. Wash your hands. Wear a mask.